that's enough questions for now, Mrs. Ferguson. Look, I, I know it's been hard for you, but, well, it's the only way I can find the man who kidnapped your husband. I understand. Well, now, Mrs. Ferguson, if you're up to making a public statement for TV, I think it might help. Well, all right, if, if it would help. Uh, I'm Leo McKenzie, Mrs. Ferguson. Uh, we'd like to ask you a few more questions uh, for the viewing audience. Uh, that, that is, if you're up to it. I, su I suppose so. Oh. You'll, you'll get used to the lights. Uh, don't worry about this. This will be edited into our 6 p.m. news broadcast tonight. We have found in the past that such broadcasts sometimes provide clues so that we can help catch such men as the kidnappers. I see, yes. All right, are you ready, Mrs. Ferguson? All right, boys, ready? We're ready. <coughs> <coughs> This is Leo McKenzie, speaking to you from the home of Mrs. Arthur Ferguson, the wife of the noted financier and art collector who was kidnapped today from the parking lot of his downtown office. Mrs. Ferguson, uh, can you tell us exactly how you found out about the kidnapping? Yes, well, it, it was about, uh, about two this afternoon, and I was here alone, and, uh, and the phone rang, and, and I picked it up, and uh, it... It was this man, and uh, he said that they had kidnapped Arthur, and uh, that I was supposed to take all the money that we had out of, out of the bank and uh, and give it to them, or else. Did they let you speak to your husband? <laughs> Only for a moment, and uh, and he said, Helen, give them anything they want, and. Uh, and then they hung up. How did you feel at that moment? I don't know. I just, I thought it was some kind of a joke. You know? How do you feel now, Mrs. Ferguson? I don't know. I just, I just want my husband home safe. Just one last question, Mrs. Ferguson. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the kidnappers, uh, should they be listening? Oh, yes. Oh, please, please bring my Arthur back to me. I've, Please, I, I'll give you anything you want. You can have all the money you want. Only please, just bring my hands. Thank you, Mrs. Ferguson. Thank you. Okay, that's it. How was it, boys? Fine for video. Wait a minute. Sound wasn't right. Sound wasn't right? Yeah. Right. No. Hold the lights. Hold the lights. <laughs> now, Mrs. Ferguson, we had some mechanical difficulties. Could we just run over that ground again quickly? <laughs> Just, just repeat what you said. Well, I, d I don't think I remember exactly what I said. I well, you don't have to remember exactly, you know. You don't have to be the exact words. Just, you know, how you were stunned when you got the call and how you wanted your husband back safe and all that stuff about the better nature of the kidnappers and so on. Okay? All right. Yes. Thank you. Ready, boys? Go ahead, ma'am. All right. Uh, Mrs. Ferguson, can you tell us exactly how you found out about the kidnapping? Um... Well, I was here, and, and the telephone rang, and I picked it up, and this uh, man said that they had Arthur. And then what did he say? Anything about terms or conditions? Any oh, threats? Oh, yes, I, I forgot. Uh, that he said that uh, I was supposed to give, give them all our money. Uh, hold it. Cut it. Cut it, will you, boys? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Mrs. Ferguson, could we just zip back and take this from the beginning? You know, when you first told me about this, you were more uh, emotional. You know, when you said you got the call about two and that they had Arthur and for you to withdraw all of your savings or else, then you, you just couldn't go on. I mean, you just stopped right there. You, I stopped. You see, it was more real. You see yes, what I mean? Yes. Can we aim for that again? Yes, I was here and the phone rang and it, it was two. Thank you. Okay? Ready, boys? You're ready. Mrs. Ferguson, could you tell us exactly how you found out about the kidnapping? Well, um, I was here, and it, it was about 2 o'clock, and um, the phone rang, and I picked it up, and uh, it was this man. And they said that uh, they had kidnapped Arthur, and uh, if I didn't give them all the money that we had, he said that I had better or else. <laughs> could I try that one more time? I really think I could do it a lot better. 
I don't feel that I was quite as upset as I was when we did it before. I really think I could do oh, it. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, oh, okay, sure. Well, Are we still rolling? <laughs> yes, we're, we're still rolling. Don't don't pay any attention to how you look no. or how, uh, how you sound. No, just no. just throw I, it away. Just, I hide all right? It, it, just give me the cue whenever you're... <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Ferguson, could you tell us exactly how you found out about the kidnapping? It was about two. <laughs> and I was here alone, and the phone rang. <laughs> well, I thought maybe it was my mother, you know. <laughs> Skipped over and, and picked it up and... Man. And he said, he said that they had kidnapped my <laughs> And that they were gonna or else. Mrs. Ferguson, do you have anything to say to the kidnapper? Oh, yes. Oh, please. 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 Just bring my Arthur back to me. I'll give you anything you want. Take your horrid old money. Only please, please bring me back my husband! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Ferguson. Okay, how was that, boys? Good on video. Fine for sale. Okay, fine. Was it sincere enough? You think? Oh, it was fine. You go through it oh, again? Oh, no, no, no. It was very well it was done. Real? Oh, very well. thought it was thank real enough. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. Sure now. Oh, it was fine. Oh, Perfectly well done. Uh, what? This is on the 6 o'clock news. Will it be on That's early? That's right, 6 o'clock. I suppose. Well, it'll be about 10 minutes in, Ten. right after the earthquake. Oh. Oh, that's a very good spot. Oh, it is? Just before sports. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting us intrude on you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Certainly. Uh, Mrs. Ferguson, we'll let you know the minute we find anything out. Thank now, you. stay near the phone and be sure and keep it clear. Keep the phone. Yes. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Hi, Roberta, it's Helen. Listen, I'm gonna be on the six o'clock news tonight on TV. I'm being interviewed. Oh, you'll find out soon enough what about. They said that I did a pretty good job, but you know showbiz, probably my best moments will wind up on the cutting room floor, but be sure to... <laughs>